Good afternoon. My name is Wahid Lutfi. I'm going to be discussing a data dictionary data structure on uh, today's session. So um, I have already covered a number of Python data structure, including Python tuples, Python list, Python strings, and um, well, we have these uh, videos already posted. I'm going to cover a Python um, to, um, I'm sorry, a Python data dictionary today. So uh, let's get started with that. Uh, I'm gonna go through a slideshow. And as you can see here, the Python data uh, dictionary data structure is uh, defined as um, these uh, kind of combination of these um, methods and, um, and double underscore magic method or um, spatial method. And then this uh, video that I'm going to show you is uh, about the uh, data structure uh, for the semifinal of uh, FIFA Qatar 2022, which are uh, four teams, Argentina versus Croatia, France against Morocco. And then uh, I'm going to just uh, define a data structure and we go through the list. So without further ado, let's get started with that. I'm going to uh, bring you here uh, this um, Python interface, uh, which is um, on uh, colab.research.google.com. And then as you can see here, I'm uh, just showing you Python data structure here. And then and the data dictionary uh, data structure is uh, defined as, if I just call it a data dictionary, DD is equal, and then just create an empty list, uh, an, an empty data dictionary, I could say print, uh, type of um, this uh, data dictionary and then print um, the actual data dictionary. If I wanna just do that one as simple as that, you can see it shows that it's, uh, it's a class a DICT and then the uh, actual empty dictionary does not have any elements yet on it. So I could do a get a directory listing of DD and to see whether um, the directories uh, that are having all these methods that are defined. As you can see, there's um, uh, a lot of methods like a net method is there, uh, the um, less than sign, uh, less than or equal, or and the linked method, and the reduce method, the der method, the doc method, as well as the clear copy uh, from key, get items, keys, pop, pop item, set uh, default, update, and values. We're gonna show you some of these one uh, just as we go through them. So let's say I just wanna uh, assign a value for the, the, sub, uh, the, word, uh, the uh, number one, I could just put a one here and then as equal and then put a one here in words. So if I just do that one and then say print DD again, let's see if uh, that uh, key since that key is unique, it assi I assign one, the string one. Similarly, I can do DD two, and then that's unique also, and then uh, put the string two in it there. Uh, so, and then I, at this time, if I just print uh, DD, let me just print DD only once. So I'm going to get rid of these other ones. So you will see a shorter list here, since you already know that the list was empty we assign two of them and then now we just are printing control um, X, delete this one and just paste it here. Uh, let's just paste that one and run it. So now we have a dictionary uh, of um, more than one element. So uh, one is assigned to one and two is assigned to two. Let's say we uh, just do this one and just say uh, name so the key does not have to be always a number or something. Uh, in dictionary, we call it key pair value. It is a hashing key that the name, the key is always unique. So you cannot have a name uh, defined twice. And then I'm gonna just say Wahid here for the name. And then here I'm gonna say DD and then just let's say URL. And then I'm gonna just say, um, I'm going to just define um, to my YouTube channel. Let's say I'm going to say youtube.com slash at my web university 
university, like, like it is uh, shown here. So then at this time, if I print this DD right after that line, uh, and then just say that, uh, let me see the dictionary, what it contains. Now you can see that the dictionary grow. So then I could just say, for example, print um, dd.keys. And remember that when we did the uh, directory listing, one of the uh, method was keys to just get the keys of that one. So if I just print that one from the same dictionary that I did, now the keys are one, two, name, and URL. And similarly, if I want to get the print uh, values, uh, I'm sorry, dd.values, and then those are um, just the values of whatever the keys are there. You can see that the key has one, two, name, URL, and then the values is uh, those ones. And then similarly, I can do both of them, say print dd.items, and then dd.items will uh, print uh, the key and values here. Uh, similarly, I could just uh, say, instead of doing all this thing, I could just uh, say it in one line. I could say uh, for key, uh, key comma value, I could put the word key or I could put a uh, shorter so I can type less. Um, and then I could say ndd, and then I say print key, and then I could make a distinguish um, a space between them and then comma value. So you could print that one also like that. And notice that um, some typos I did here. So I needed uh, the um, method here, items. I wanted to go through the items because item has both of them. So for key and um, dd.items, this is uh, like here I put uh, dd.items. I um, had to do it similarly there. So there's a S here missing. Let's just correct that one. Now it should work, dd dot, oh, items um, like that, sorry. And then that would work here. So you could have just, I thought that I did already there. Maybe I deleted the items here. And then um, the um, IDE already helped you that whatever the uh, uh, character is, by accident I mistyped it. So you don't have to mistype it there you can see that it is uh, printing in the format that you want there. And then this is very useful to uh, do it. So if you just want to change the URL, for example, right after um, you assign it here, you could just say, for example, dd sub um, URL, URL is equal. <laughs> and then uh, you put, um, let's say, um, uh, HTTPS colon, and then um, docs.python.org. Um, so uh, to get to uh, python.org, now notice that the URL is just um, when we are printing it, because we modified it, it is uh, not no longer this. So if I had printed the DD originally, it was printing the my web university URL. So here, if I just want to print one field here, I could say print URL, um, sorry, dd, dd uh, sub url and then uh, that would just bring uh, the url um, in there and uh, let me just make sure that i did not have any typo print dd let me just uh, do this um, print dd is the name and then the name of the key is url so you could do this and then close it like that it would not error up and then notice here when you do this versus the last one after this one when we did the URL already changed, you could uh, put it this one and you could see that the same value that you, you, you have here on the key pair value, we're getting that one because we modified it right at line nine. So before that one, when we print it, you could see that uh, dd dot, um, uh, DD, let me just delete some of these lines. Uh, we don't need to keep that uh, all the time. I'm going to just say um, we did that one. And then uh, let's just run and see what is the output here first. 
So you, uh, YouTube.com is this one when I printed uh, the actual DD, this one. And then the DD URL is going to uh, print out um, uh, docs.python.org is afterward. Here, we already modified it. Um, let me just make sure that it is DD URL. And um, this one is printing here. Um, let me just comment this last line here and um, run it one more time to see what I get. So uh, this one is the entire th thing, so yeah. So here, this one, as soon as you change it to that, line six is putting that one and line, um, line uh, seven is printing it uh, with this value. But line eight is printing the entire thing. And line 11 is printing after the modification. So after the modification, I could just delete line 10 and line 10 now is just printing after uh, line nine. So if line nine, I had uh, replaced it to docs, uh, like python, www.python.org, then a line 10 would still print www.python.org because you're modifying that one. Similarly, if you want to just uh, change the uh, one, but if you want to uh, kind of get rid of a uh, um, dictionary, then you run other methods, uh, deleting it and clearing it and updating it. So you can also um, do other changes on the um, dictionary. So with um, that in mind, let's just give you another example. So uh, right now I have not, nothing here. I'm gonna just uh, go ahead in my notepad uh, and then uh, on notebook uh, that I have a data dictionary. Let me see what I have for you. Um, tutorial one, this is data dictionary. So I'm going to just do this. Um, if you just do this for statement as usual, um, this one basically give you the uh, data dictionary, um, putting there in one and then you could just say, just show me all the methods that are there. And then if you just say, um, I want to see everything, but um, and that is uh, not a double underscore in it. So all these other methods, you could just say to get the list of this one, you could say F um, um, double underscore not, not an item, then print the method name. The, in this case, uh, print the item. So uh, we wanna just get that list. Now we should get these ones. Let's do, see if we can get that one. And as you can see, clearly we get that one uh, there. And then um, similarly, if you say, if um, uh, item is that, uh, just don't get these one, but uh, get the double underscore. Now you get the double underscore. So this is a shorter form of the same thing that you're getting it. But if you don't want to do any comparison, normally you get everything that's also uh, okay. So you can see that it is that plus and uh, these other methods. Um, so let's see in the next example that I'm going to show you here. Um, So this one, I'm going to uh, create a, a data dictionary called semifinal. Let's just uh, make this one blank first. We don't have any um, a dictionary. As you can see, there's no dictionary here. So I'm going to create a dictionary called uh, semifinal. And then now the key that we are assigning it is equal. So whatever you put between this uh, left um, braces and right braces, then the keys are normally in um, single coded or double coded. If you start with single code, you make sure that you close it with double code as uh, the single code. And similarly with double code, you have to close it with double code. But then there's a colon and then the value for that one. Then they are separated by, um, by the comma. As you saw the other example, you don't have to say the like semifinal, sorry. You don't have to say, on the semifinal here, uh, like semifinal, if I want to just do this one, I could just create a dictionary of empty like that, that is uh, good enough. So if I say type of um, uh, semifinal and then print uh, semifinal, you could do that one. And then at the same time, 
you could create a longer dictionary and say print uh, type of um, semi, um, semi, semi um, final, and then also uh, print the actual um, dictionary called semi final. So if you do that one and then run this code, you can see that um, the first one SF, uh, which is semifinal short for semifinal was an empty uh, dictionary. And it is saying dictionary, but then it was empty. It printed as, as empty dictionary. The second one, when we print the type, we have to do a print here in order to see the type on the first one as well. Uh, otherwise a Jupyter notebook, it just um, prints the last one. So right here, you see uh, that type on line two is saying that it's a dictionary and the values of uh, fit is empty. The, the dictionary is empty at this time. But this other dictionary semifinal has a data structure already. So uh, in order to uh, see that one, let's delete these other two. I just showed you how you can create an empty uh, dictionary or you can just create the, this. So, and then we also know the type of this one that this one is a semifinal is a type of dictionary and these are the keys. So when you print it, the keys and values are printed here together. You can also get to say print um, semi, semi, um, semifinal and then dot keys to just see the keys here. So you can see that I uh, created um, for the keys uh, that same name, um, as, as long as this is unique, which means that whether it's one character is different from the other uh, key, that makes it a hashing key. And um, dictionary basically is similar to like other programming language like C and C++ if you use mapping basically or uh, Perl uh, hashing key or associate array and uh, shell scripting and uh, uh, other programming languages. So in Python, a key pair value is a, a dictionary, and the key is always a unique hash code, a number, a, 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 a character, a string, or something. As long as one key versus the second key here versus the third key and the versus all other keys are not the same. Uh, you cannot have two Argentina with same characters. If you make one character alphabetical, different then it would be a, a hash key that is uh, created that are unique on that one. So the keys are important that you just have to make sure that they're distinct uh, keywords that are uh, hashable. So Argentina in this case is uh, all lowercase and then uh, I cannot have two Argentina as keys. Similarly for Croatia, all lowercase, I cannot do have Croatia. Similarly for France, similarly for Morocco. So and the uh, nice thing about uh, the World Cup uh, that I have here, you can see that Argentina and Croatia is playing on Tuesday, December 13, for the uh, FIFA World Cup uh, Qatar, which is uh, this following up uh, Tuesday at 11 a.m. And then the uh, um, semifinal for France and Morocco is uh, the next day following December 14. So you should be watching it and whoever uh, goes to uh, final, they play Sunday at 7 a.m. and on December 18. And then this um, third uh, place is going to be played Saturday, December 17, one day before and the final. So at, uh, they are both at 7 a.m. So you should be watching them, enjoying them, and then having um, to support all uh, soccer everywhere, but at the same time, support your favorite team. Uh, so... Um, for this one, a data dictionary, when we are looking at the, these uh, finalists that Argentina is going to play uh, Croatia and France is going to play um, Morocco, I put it into a data structure format. So you can just get to uh, see any one of them. For example, if I want to say, um, get the uh, keys, and then I also want to get the values, I could say uh, semi-final.values. So this values is basically printing all the um, actual uh, country name with uppercase like Argentina, Croatia uh, here, and then France, and then Morocco. The, I put the values as uh, the M uppercase for Morocco, F for France, and then C for Croatia and A for Argentina. As you can see here, the values are this. 
but there's also a data structure in um, uh, Python uh, for data dictionary, a, a kind of a method that you can print, say, give me semifinal dot um, items. For every item that is there and the key pair value, you could get it there. And you can see this is the data uh, dictionary underscore items. And inside there is a, a list that contains tuples. This is very important. You see, this is a, a tuple. This is another tuple. And this is another tuple. There's four tuples here. So on each of these tuples are inside a data structure called list. And then and the whole thing is um, a key pair value that you can just uh, go through them and then uh, get this item. So for example, I want to just print those ones uh, one at a time. I could say for um, or um, key, a key comma value, I could put the word a key comma value or I could make it short K comma V. So it's up to you how you do it. It's uh, easier to make it shorter and then uh, say, and um, now uh, what do I do a semi final, this is uh, there. Now notice when I put a dot, the whole methods are going to show up. So I'm going to say uh, that items is the one that I'm interested. But it's a method, so I'm going to say we'll do this and then print k comma value. So if I just want to print it uh, k comma value, notice that it is uh, printing. Let's just comment this one out, or at this time uh, I'm not gonna print all of that one since we already printed and we already know this one. Let's just make this one shorter so you see uh, that what's the benefit of learning something with too many details. So, so here is much uh, easier to learn. Semifinal is the uh, data dictionary. And then I'm going through semifinal.items using a for statement with a K comma V, which is key uh, and values. So I print those one key. But notice that a value key is Corasia and then the uppercase is it. So I could just make this uh, distinguish here, say uh, K comma, and then put this colon uh, in between them and then say value. And then just say that uh, at least it is a little bit formatted differently. But then at the same time, I could uh, just make it, um, just write it in a format that I could understand that uh, actually this one is um, semi-final. So I could put like uh, the word semi-final. So let's just do this one semi-final. And then at this time, I'm going to um, uh, put the word uh, left parenthesis, and then I'm going to uh, put a uh, pace here. Notice I'm going to uh, do this one purposely so you can learn something out of this. And then another plus, and then uh, here, and then I'm going to close this one and then close this one, put a comma, and then um, put the space here and then value. Let's see if this syntax is uh, good. So I'm going to start with semifinal here, then uh, this brace, and then I just missed this um, closing it, closing it, and then uh, do this uh, K plus this, and then um, um, so plus that, and then uh, let's close it one more time. Um, yeah, so this is um, all there together, um, dot value. Let me just see why the syntax is showing with the uh, bracket here. I um, have the bracket already uh, closing for that bracket. And then um, I must have one uh, thing missing here. There's a comma here because of that. Um, uh, since I'm using the plus, I don't need comma. I don't need comma here and I don't need comma here. So this one is start with this and then uh, what is this one? There's no need for this one. Uh, yeah, this one is there's no need for it. Now we're good. So there was a typo there, an uh, uh, extra comma. And then um, now if I run this one, it's going to just uh, print me the format that I want. Notice because I use the plus, I put the uh, Argentina uh, for the uh, values here. And then Croatia similarly and so on. So notice how nice it is, is that uh, this is the data structure and then for each of the key. So if I just um, 
have another, um, uh, uh, let's say Brazil was qualified in the state of, um, in the state of uh, Croatia, then you could have just uh, say, okay, Croatian uh, beat the Brazilian uh, penalty kicks, and then you could just uh, change the value of like semi um, final as uh, sub um, Brazil. You could put um, um, Brazil as this one and then equal to um, Brazil. Um, so the Brazil is that uh, string, Brazil. And then uh, here you could just, if you print the semifinal here, notice that uh, you were adding here, the um, system does not know anything that is okay. And why there's an, a fifth one. And if you wanna add a, uh, another one like England, you could add it, it's not a problem because, but uh, the word semifinal does not make sense because uh, those ones are not uh, in the semifinal, that is on the quarterfinal. So if you wanna say England, let's say here, and then you just say England, uh, England, and then you could, you could see the data structure grows. That means that if uh, we were just in the state of the semifinal, we could make it quarterfinal, then include all the teams. But at this time, if I just remove these ones and I just keep the one short with the uh, four uh, semifinalists, these are the teams. So you could do the, something like this. But notice that at the same time that this data structure is defined, you could also get um, another um, nice thing about this one is that, and instead of doing this plus plus this, you know, I could use this one at, at, with the F string. So I don't have to do this. Um, I could just say brace here and then brace here and then close all of this and then um, close this and then close all of this and then all of this and then uh, close this and look how uh, short this becomes and then just put a V here because these are like placeholder. So I'm, I'm just saying that, um, go ahead, print this one with this syntax, and then that would do the same thing, except um, I, if I want a space in between here and there, you could do that. But notice how nice it is that, um, and this way I use the F string and you could use the uppercase F, uh, it doesn't matter. The syntax is the same, it works, uh, both of them. And if you use, uh, if you start with double quote here, you could do a double quote, but make sure that you close with double quote. So now the syntax of the F string is still good. But notice this placeholder, and this placeholder is just replacing the actual key pair value. So if I change my code to key column, uh, column value, and value, and then I have to go through those uh, right here. You see that Python, uh, Python or um, the IDE already mark this one that, well, I don't understand key anymore. Uh, you have to go with the actual uh, variable that you declare. And so it will do the same thing if you do this, okay? So um, this is how you easily, you can manipulate the data structure in Python uh, for um, these uh, semifinalists. Because the uh, line was very long uh, for one of them, you could just create one at a time or just maybe create two of them at a time. So let me show you another data structure that I did here that um, I wanted to show you that um, and instead of those keys, I just use uh, this shorter one. So I'm just going to show you these two. And um, in fact, I'm going to uh, copy the entire thing to save some time for typing them because uh, when nobody has time to just see me typing and I um, respect that one. So here, what I'm doing here, you just have to understand when I'm explaining it uh, to understand what I'm doing here. So here, because uh, those wording was too long, I just did not wanna uh, show it in one line. So I did uh, something like this. I could have just say uh, semi-finalist and make this one also um, do another uh, two of them. So let's just, uh, this is also going too much on the right side. If I put it on a, a short video for you, 
to just uh, watch it, I want you to um, better see everything. So I'm going to do this one in two lines, semifinal two, semifinalist, and then and now the data structure is shorter a little bit. Maybe this one is still not uh, fitting because do team sometimes is um, when you print all of them, it is not going to be uh, as clear. But um, we know that, that these are in the semifinal. You can see that these two are printed from a line of three and four. So we have a semifinal one and semifinal two. Both of those teams are in there. And as you can see, the keys are sh uh, shortened this time to fit it a little bit better and not uh, having too much typing. But sometimes if you are doing it for entire uh, group of 16 or entire group of uh, 32, when we start the World Cup, some of the uh, uh, strings are going to be three char characters are gonna have conflicts uh, with the two countries matching the same uh, characters. So it is better to just make the string more unique, like having the entire country name. No country has the uh, uh, same name, but three first character could happen to be the same. Uh, so you could make it four or five or just add a number to it or something. As long as it's unique, the hashing key on the key will be a valid name. In addition, I break it into two of these uh, data structure uh, of data dictionary SF1 and SF2, which uh, means SF1, the one, one and two doesn't mean the order in this case. I just have two data structure of data dictionary called semifinal one and semifinal two. There's two game actually. One is on Tuesday, Argentina versus Croatia, and the other one is France against Morocco that are playing Wednesday. So you should be just enjoying them. And at this uh, structure, <laughs> learn it also, so you enjoy it more. Uh, let's uh, look at the line three and four or printing it, them and the output is here. So after that one, I'm going through the line, but notice that I'm putting them in a zip format. The zip function, it takes um, any uh, two or three or four or as many items that you want to put. And those ones could be a list, could be a dictionary, could be tuples. Then you put them in zip format and then uh, you go through them. And then as we go, notice that because we put it in the zip format, each of the uh, sf1.items will just uh, give me the ARC uh, Argentina and uh, uh, FRA uh, for uh, France, France. And then the second one, SF2, will give me this. Because if these are tuples, as you can see, it's a key pair value and a, a tuple. The key is an uh, ARG for Argentina. and then, But the actual tuple, when you're doing it in tuple, this is just tuple. It does not have key pair value. But when you're just uh, doing it um, dot items inside the dictionary key pair value, you're getting these as uh, their um, values. And then when you're uh, doing this, uh, semi-finalist uh, later on, uh, we're putting uh, the two um, finalists together. Let's just uh, delete um, this line. I'm going to delete this one out. And then I'm going to also delete, um, um, since we printed already, this one is good. We're going to just run it one more time. And this time, I want to just concentrate on showing you what uh, this one is. So this one is basically the uh, print of semifinal on line number nine. Line nine is just saying that after I made the update printed. So what does the update do? And there's a semifinal.update statement. I'm going to create a, a blank semifinal, uh, empty uh, semifinal data dictionary first. And then, um, then I do update with SF1. If I just print up and the first time I did the update and I say print semifinal here, right after and updating the semifinal one, SF1, then you can see that the first time that I updated, it uh, did this. Now the second time it was this already, so it added the second one also. And then um, when I do the line nine, it is uh, adding the SF2. So when on line 10, it is printing this. 
okay? And then the, this other one, if I just don't uh, do anything with the, uh, I'm gonna comment these lines here. And then uh, notice uh, these ones, I'm gonna take it out. We know those values already, uh, but let's just not take it out. We wanna just leave it. I'm only going to take these ones and then leave the other one out. Um, so notice that uh, semifinalist that when we are printing this one, it is printing this uh, first uh, uh, semifinal one. The second one semifinal line four is printing this one. And now I'm going through a forest statement line 11 through um, line 13. And then as you can see line 12, I commented out because I wanna just uh, show you that um, and instead of writing this longer command, uh, you could do it in a shorter format. Uh, but both of them will print the same thing. So if I just comment this line out and then uh, uncomment this one, and then you can see that it is, uh, this one is better because this uh, plus K, it's a lot of uh, kind of prone to errors. You could make a comma somewhere and then it's too uh, tedious to do it. So Python came out with this uh, F string, which is very nice. And then you could just eliminate this line completely. You don't need it. And then you just run it like that and you get the exactly the result that you want because semifinal and then this bracket is for uh, just printing the bracket and the brace K is uh, replaced for the key. And then brace um, this uh, brace uh, with V is a placeholder that uh, takes the value. So if you put any value here, you could just uh, do this one. And if you just say the sum like uh, number one, for example, um, or just add um, uh, even, one plus one, you could just do that one. Doesn't matter, you could just say it, you get two all the time. But why do that one? I'm just showing you that you can just um, do a lot of uh, computation inside the, uh, this F string. And you can, you could print the list or print the integer or so on. Uh, so uh, let's just do one more thing here uh, to show you uh, the semifinal. We did this one. And then um, at this time, I'm going to show you um, a dir listing, dir of uh, SF1. You can see that when you do a dir of SF1 um, for the first one, you could see that at the bottom, you will get the directory listing. And then um, I'm going to show you the get uh, method, for example, or the clear method, uh, for example, or pop method for example. Each one of these ones, you could just uh, use it and uh, learn it. Pop item, pop this. Actually, I will just use the get and then maybe um, and that would be enough for the today's because I don't want this video to go forever and I need to go play soccer. <laughs> so let's just get the one of the uh, get method. So um, if you just do this and then you say, uh, while you're doing, you say print um, I'm going to do um, the, uh, what is that? Uh, let's just do it for the first one. I'm going to delete everything here and then just go um, blank here. So you know what I'm doing here. Uh, so this is the data structure and I'm going to do say um, sf1.get. And then if I just want to get uh, the art uh, for Argentina, I should be getting um, basically uh, Argentina as output. So sf1.get, and then this one takes an argument as a method. And then um, the key is, uh, the name is Argentina. So um, if uh, you just put the Argentina within, without the um, bracket of that, because it's not a value, you will get Argentina. Similarly, if you wanna say print uh, for uh, Croatia, you could get the Croatia and similarly, you could get uh, the value for France, whatever is the name of the key, then uh, you just uh, put it. For example, on the Morocco, um, let me just see why uh, for the France, it is uh, just taking too long to display. 
what is this one? This one, I don't need this one. And so France, uh, we should get the value here. And then uh, I'm gonna do a print statement here, print. And the uh, virtual machine is uh, taking a little bit time here. Let's see if uh, this time it, I'm gonna, yeah. It says none because uh, France is not on SF1. So in order to do that one, France is on uh, data dictionary SF2. You could see that that is making sense. So this one is for Morocco also, you have to do this. Similarly, if you do for SF2, if you type in a key that is on Argentina, it's not gonna just uh, say it says none. And then also, and if um, you, this is nice about the get. So notice that if you just do without this one, and then you just, the difference between this one and you just type in the France here, you will get the uh, dictionary. And then uh, let's see, no dot here because uh, it's a dictionary. So you're uh, getting France, but if I try the number one, notice this one is gonna return uh, a key error. So the key error is uh, going to happen is because uh, France is not there. Similarly, if I just go um, on uh, this one and say Argentina, um, any other key, but uh, uh, but uh, SF1, Argentina is there. Any other key, like Argentina 1 is not there, that key is going to return a key error. But if I wanna just not get a key error, then I need to uh, include that one with sf1.get. Um, I will get none rather than care. That's the difference between when you're just doing it um, uh, with a get method versus just the actual um, list. So if you uh, include the right key, I'll obviously get the value. And similarly, here you can do a for statement. You say for uh, key comma value and actually for let's say key keys or key uh, and um, sf1 dot um, keys and then you could just use that method and then um, sf1 for key and it's oh, sf1 so that is uh, sf1 is the dictionary and then you just say sf1 dot, uh, dot um, sorry uh, at this time, we're, we're going to say uh, sf1.get, and then we just say key. So this one will actually give us the sf1.key. And then you can see. Let's see the, the key. Here's the method. Let me first make sure that I get the keys. Print key. I get the key um, for uh, Argentina and, uh, and this. So I could also do this one, say um, sf1.get. Um, and then uh, this time I'm going to just type in key. And that should have um, fi find it there also. Yeah, it printed there. And then uh, similarly, if I just say um, something like this also, I could say sf1 dot, not dot, and then I just say the word uh, key here. But because we're inside the while loop, uh, I mean the far loop, you don't need to do that one. You just already know the key or there. So you um, could just print it. Now, and the uh, key, the reason we use that one is to get Croatia and Argentina, uh, uh, like that. So this is something that you could uh, play around also and to get it. And then similarly, sf2.keys uh, will just give me the keys of that one. And then I could just say uh, for uh, key and, um, and uh, sf2.keys, you could uh, just say print and uh, SF2, and then as uh, <laughs> print SF2, print key. And then similarly uh, for um, 
value and sf2 dot keys dot values you could just print that one and say uh, print values so this is like very simple way to just get the keys as well as the friends uh, or the actual values or you could just get them in one shot for both of them you could say for key comma value and um, sf2 dot items and then just uh, say uh, print you could use the f string again f string and then you say f and then you say um, sf2 uh, sub uh, k put it in the placeholder uh, is equal and then um, uh, placeholder values so you could do something like that also and then uh, just run it and you could see that the last item at this time it uh, error because i did not uh, close it properly or maybe I missed something. Let's see what I missed. FSF2 is there, braces there, and then K and then equal value and, um, oh, the printf statement. Uh, I'm not using printf, I'm not on C++ or uh, C programming language. For C++ has C out, but uh, C uh, language. The printf statement is supported on shell script nowadays and uh, Python and uh, in um, uh, C C plus plus. I believe in Python also. There's a different format you could do that one, but we don't need to. So F string is down there, and then on the version two point two seven, we, we uh, used to use format and other ones. Now this F is uh, replacing the format uh, very nicely. Uh, so you can see that it is there. And if I just want to do the change this one to S F one. Obviously, I get the value of SF1 uh, here for Argentina and other ones. Similarly here, if I just change this one to SF1 uh, data structure and then get the keys of SF1 here, so it is uh, there. And then if you want to put it in a zip format, you could just say also say for key, comma, value, and zip, and then you say uh, SF1.items and then just put that one uh, comma uh, and then sf2 dot items and then just do this now you get a list of tuples for uh, both of them print key comma value and then you could just as a short form i could have just done this one also like this uh, there but uh, let's just uh, print it in short form here and you can see that this is uh, there for uh, that so I hope you uh, liked it and uh, please make sure you go to the videos, watch them and uh, enjoy them and learn them and uh, have fun. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.